Yes, we are going to discuss the sample paper. of English, right? So first we are going to discuss today the reading skills. And before that, let's see the instructions part. So yesterday I told you to have the hard copy of the paper with you. Many students already have it, but some students don't have. So you listen, okay. So the question paper will contain three sections. Section A reading, it will have 18, uh, it will have 14 questions for you people. Section B writing and grammar will have 10 questions, writing and grammar. And section C will be literature and there will be 26 questions. So obviously clear, uh, reading skills for 14 marks, writing and grammar skills for 10 marks, literature for 26 marks, right? And all questions will carry equal marks, each question for 1.8 or something like that. So there is no negative marking, right? And yes, if by chance there is some choice, Suppose you are to do five questions out of six. Very important factor, otherwise you'll be at big loss. If there are six questions and you are to do any four, and if you do like, okay, let me do all and ma'am will give me marks for any four correct. Suppose you write answers of all this, A, B, C, D, A, B, like this. And your question number one is uh, right, second is wrong, third is right, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is right. The marks will be on the basis of these four options. You'll get two marks. Okay, the fifth question will not be even looked at by the teacher. Okay, supposing even this is correct, even then these two marks will not be assessed. So in case you don't know the answer, in case you are not very sure of the answer, leave that option. Basically this time there won't be any options for you. But yes, you should know otherwise if by chance some subject, there, in some subject there is option, then you should know this very carefully that yes, I have to attempt the first four questions or you do like this. You don't know the B answer, you don't know D answer, you leave them. So you do, a, C, A, B. You'll be given four on four if they are correct. Leave them. Don't attempt these answers. Leave that blank side. You'll be getting OMR sheets. You understand what are OMR sheets? Yes, you will have to circle that option. Don't circle anything. But if by chance you circle a little bit, then also it will be considered yes. But then don't think we will circle all the options. Okay, circle properly. Okay, this is very, very important uh, thing you must keep in mind. Okay, now reading part. Nature is our mother. So here is the passage in front of you, right? After the passage, there are questions. First, let's read the questions. Okay. Should we read questions first or we should read passage first? First, we should read questions. When we are attempting comprehension for examination, then first read the questions. Why so? When you will have read the questions, you will have an idea like which areas I'll have to focus while reading the passage. Okay, what concept should be in my mind? And moreover, through the questions, many a times, the uh, main idea of the passage is also there. Okay, you'll get the main idea of the passage through questions. So start with the questions reading skills. Read all questions thoroughly. Clear? 
based on your understanding of the passage answer any eight by choosing the correct option according to the author but from the following is the greatest lesson being taught by nature you are not to tell me the point is not whether you know the answer or not point is right now how to attempt reading skills okay i will uh, be sending you one passage after some days then you see how much you how many marks you get in that passage because no key will be provided i'll be sending you a passage with self framed questions you won't get any key to that passage from anywhere in the world that you attempt then you see where you stand okay right now you see how the things are to be done first question is according to author what from the following is greatest lesson being taught by the nature balanced in our emotion partial to joys in life afraid of unhappiness indifferent to fears what's the meaning of indifferent what is indifference huh do not care yes indifference attitude is when you don't bother for something suppose somebody is crying here that person wants help and i i don't even look at that leave it is mine it is indifferent attitude okay nature is uh, nature needs our attention nature needs to be cared but we human beings are indifferent to the call of nature okay nature wants less pollution but we are not stopping so we human beings are indifferent towards the call of nature what it so you should have good vocabulary otherwise you won't be able to understand the question itself so these four options were there what is the greatest lesson being taught by nature nature what lesson is teaching balance in emotions partial to joys afraid of unhappiness and indifferent to fears don't give me answer i don't want answer yet second option question is select the option that suitably completes a dialogue with reference to the paragraph gurpal sit straight in order to listen to me you need ears and that you can do while sitting straight straight in the center sit in the center you can have pen or paper in your hand to note down some important information <clears throat> select the option that suitably completes a dialogue with reference to paragraph was there a dialogue in the passage those who read the question paper or the passage was there a dialogue there was no dialogue that was simply an article kinds but now the writer has given us a dialogue and we have to fill up the information from the passage jay says i have done well for myself in the school i am the best they have i can get admission anywhere this is my moment so jay says when he has completed education in the school and he has done very well and he is going now after the his schooling is over you can say or college is over so set says congratulations just remember we should options are we should become strong despite our weakness or he says be kind and supportive towards everyone or respect the origin from where we have grown or he says nature ourselves nurture ourselves well from the beginning what do you do always in the recess just now there was an uh, there was a recess break who is tushar who is tushar uh, who went which child was outside that you could not go hmm? he always goes go out 
yes go hmm select the option that suitably completes a direct so congratulations just remember we should dash nurture ourselves well from the beginning so out of these four we'll see after the passage then the choose the option that best conveys the message in i am because we are what's the message of this idea that i am because we are options are tigers are dependent on an antelope or antelopes are dependent on tigers or humans are dependent on animals or everyone is dependent on each other so what qualities do the birds and squirrels display when they warn others of possible dangers choose one option conservation observation skills and alertness tendency to get easily frightened selfless assistance to help others determination to protect themselves out of these four what is correct select the option with the underlined words that can suitably replace lurking in the passage the word lurking has been used lurking means these four words are all the meanings of lurking but you have to tick that option which is the contextual meaning of lurking here contextual means which is applicable in the passage what are the options the policeman pulled up a person who was wandering aimlessly through the city listen to the options the policeman pulled up the person who was wandering aimlessly so wandering aimlessly is somewhat the meaning of lurking the thief knew that remaining hidden was the best strategy to avoid being caught remaining hidden is also the meaning of this the policeman was caught on camera while pouncing with force force or the thief was walking boldly into the house so let's see what's the option as per the context next is a very beautiful word a portmanteau words like smog s m o g what is smog yeah it is made up of smog plus fog so the words which are formed like this are called as portmanteaus so from the options given below select a portmanteau that appears in para 6 so these words are there you have to see whether it is there or not coexistence workaholic full grown flourish it's an easy question select the qualities from paragraph 3 that the author wants us to imbibe imbibe means to have okay which qualities he wants that wants that we should instill in ourselves the qualities are being acceptive what is acceptive we should accept not everything that is next is passionate when you have a fire for doing something when you want to do something very badly emotional resilient what is resilient determined and uh, having the will to go on and on okay when you don't stop okay persevered the one who is persevered is resilient and fifth quality is perceptive what is perceptive when you perceive how do you perceive yes when you perceive the things by noticing for example when you feel that if i won't do this then my mother will not like it or when you see feel that yes uh, that there is something wrong okay when you meet somebody the person you know although the person seems to be talking very nicely but you are able to make out like no that person seemed to be sad though the person was not showing any sign of sadness but you are able to make out through your senses we call it perception okay perception is a sign of intelligent people okay intelligent people are perceptive that's why they are able to do well in all situations okay and yes everybody can be intelligent but not all people have good perceptions that is also a thing okay everybody can be intelligent by working hard but perception is a you can say natural quality okay sometimes it is there ingrained in everybody in somebody and sometimes it is no no not there okay so which qualities the writer wants us to imbibe 
इट्स नॉट दैट यू विल से मैम ए क्वालिटी मैम सेकेंड क्वालिटी यू हैव टू टिक द करेक्ट ऑप्शन लाइक सेकेंड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ वन फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ so you'll have to see as per the passage given so which of the following is shown by changing of season the beauty of nature nature's creativity all seasons are equal nothing lasts forever so what does the passage tell us about changing of season that you have to take otherwise all these four options are correct got it then the next one is what does the writer advise in para 6 so does he tell us to indulge in competition with others does he want us to make priority list does he want us to take life seriously or does he want us to have free time for ourselves and last question is choose the option that list the quote best expressing the central idea of the passage so out of these four quotations which one is suitable for this given passage in a way what kind of question is it inferential we infer inferential we are inferring the overall passage in one sentence okay conclusion theme of the passage got it what is quote what is quotation an idea which can be explained in 5000 words also that is quotation no so let's see the five, four options are uh, nature she pardons no mistakes her ya is ya and her ne is ne means nature is unpardonable nature doesn't forgive yes what you are giving to nature what we are giving to nature we are getting back okay look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better we are not to appreciate the quotations we are to find out like which quotation is going with the passage nature never deceive us it is we who deceive ourselves or all the ugliness of the world can best be forgotten in the beauty of nature so these were the questions now let's see whether we are getting the answers to the questions in the passage nature is our mother our first teacher the greatest lesson that she teaches us is to maintain an equilibrium in life we learn to maintain composure through our joys sorrows and fear in fact there are a thousand lessons that nature can teach us provided we look for them so what's the first idea in the passage that nature teaches us balance so which option is correct Ah, uh, balancing the emotions. That's the correct answer. What was that option number A? So A option was correct. That is balancing our emotions. Because in the whole paragraph, the writer is just talking about this thing that we must know how to balance our emotions of fear, happiness, sadness, or cheerfulness, whatever. So balance should be there. with the time a sapling grows into a full grown tree with the time a sapling grows into a full grown tree so tiny and delicate develops into a strong tree capable of supporting others so such a small sapling or you can say such a small seed it grows into a big tree and even supports others right no matter how tall it grows how much it may flourish or how many animals and birds it may support its roots are firmly buried from where it once rose the writer gave us the example of sapling and tree to tell us that how so ever how much one may prosper in one's life but one's roots should be one should remain fixed to one's roots one should not forget one's roots what are your roots what are the what is the first root of a human being family yes parents family yeah. you know family after family what's your second root state state 
motherland then country then country so whatever one may become one should not forget like who his parents were who what his state is what his country is that is what the writer is telling us so there was a question related to this concept do you remember or not the question was select the option that suitably completes a dialogue with reference to paragraph 2 now there is a dialogue i'm repeating those who don't have the text with them they will answer jaya says that i have done well for myself in the school i am best they have i am the best they have given me and i can get admission anywhere this is my moment somebody says who has been a great success now and his friend says congratulations just remember we should dash so will the option be right that that we should become strong despite weakness this idea is not there in second paragraph or he says be kind and supportive towards animal everyone he was not talking about kindness in second paragraph hai na that small seed becomes a big tree and supports the others but he is not talking about being kind to others he says like whatever you may become howsoever kind you are howsoever you know uh, the way you are able to help others but in the end don't forget your roots that was the idea now let's see third option respect the origins from where we have grown this is the idea he is giving and fourth option let's see nurture ourselves well from the beginning yes but this is not as per the passage so answer option number c is correct now the idea we have to find is i am because we are what does it mean let's see then there is the message of peaceful coexistence i am because we are even the word coexistence is there this that word was also there in the questions do you remember so portmanteau words the writer was asking us to find from passage 3 am i right passage 6 would be there so leave it so remember that is in passage 6 not in 3 so here and you might commit some mistake the way i was about to write now so then there is a message of this i am because we are nature provides every creature a chance to exist however the existence of one creature or being or being depends on the existence of the other existence of one person depends upon the existence of the other i guess the answer you might have got so the tiger eats the antelope and without antelope the tiger would not sur survive so what's the answer ha uh, everyone is dependent on each other i am because we are means that everyone is dependent on each other we all are dependent upon each other okay it's about give and take okay next question we have to see is what qualities do birds and squirrels display when they warn others of the possible danger i wonder if you have noticed that when the bird squirrels see a predator they give out an alarm call to their fellow creatures out of of the lurking danger they put themselves in danger to save the lives of others they put themselves to danger to save the life of others so what do you see what's the answer for this yes selfless assistance to help others c option when they risk their own life to save others it is selflessness okay next question we are to find out the meaning of lurking okay in the same paragraph i guess so i wonder if you have noticed that when birds or animals see a predator they give out an alarm call to their fellow creatures out of lurking danger so what is lurking danger here options are uh, options are the police so the wandering aimlessly remaining hidden pouncing with force or walking boldly yeah. remaining yeah. hidden so the birds the squirrels and all they give warning to the others about the hidden danger 
Hmm? Pounce means to attack somebody with force. Okay. So what do these squirrels and all do? They, they tell the other birds about the hidden danger because the predators never attack openly. You know, they are hidden first, then only finally they pounce and attack. So stand up, you second last venture. What's the meaning of lurking as per the passage? Do you come only to drink water after each break? No. So keep your notebooks and pens open with you. Okay, that's why you are here in the class. Never mind. Never mind. Pay no attention to it. <laughs> yes, children, tomorrow we'll continue the same. And today is your test. Be ready for that. All the best. <laughs>